I think I've always felt an affinity for the, the farming side of winemaking because that's really my family's background. There's a lot of um, physical work that just goes into it and it, it feels good. And then there's a the romance. Uh, wine has so much history and mystique to it. All those things put together, it's just this incredible kind of mix that, um, you know, it's, it's like a great wine itself, you know, that has lots of complexity and layers. By the time I got into to Davis, um, I was really focused on, I was going to be a winemaker, you know, I, I had done some, some work before and um, now I was ready for a, a new challenge and a new change. So went in there and, and really got the solid scientific background and the technical background to know how to make the right stylistic decision. David took me out to lunch and he sat down and he gave me his thoughts and his philosophy on, on what the Fumé Blanc should be like. And you, you know, I really am conscious that I have a legacy here to uphold. He came here in 1972, um, determined to produce Sauvignon Blanc because it was part of uh, his favorite wines from the Loire Valley of France. People told him that wasn't going to be the, the successful variety for Dry Creek. And he came to this sleepy little valley and said, yeah, I'm going to do that. And um, he could have totally failed. But instead, he found the right variety for this place. And has, it's been a real signature uh, wine for us. And here I am 40 years later, inheriting that legacy and getting to continue to make those wines. I really instantly felt comfortable with Kim and Don when I um, sat down and talked with them about coming to Dry Creek. And what I liked about them was there was certainly a dedication to, to doing the hard work, but they were really hands-on and I could see that they had a sense of fun too, and enthusiasm. And I'm really excited about the 2011 Fumé Blanc um, because it is the first release of, of my new wines here at Dry Creek. It's just turned out to be an incredible vintage for, for our Fumé and our Sauvignon Blanc. Um, you know, the nature just really didn't provide us with an abundant crop, but it was really intense fruit. And so there's just great um, citrus flavors in this wine, like um, some mandarin orange and pineapple but also that great bit, a little bit of um, herbal quality that is a hallmark of this region and of Dry Creek uh, Sauvignon Blanc. I'm very conscious coming in here to Dry Creek in a, in a winery that has such history that um, I inherit a tradition and I wanna be respectful that I'm in sync with the, the wine style here. But I also see great opportunities to take um, Dry Creek to a higher level. My experience has given me the tools to do that. The reason that Dry Creek Vineyard carries the Dry Creek Valley name on the label, you know, we're a leader in, in this region and I want us to be a flagship winery.